made the trip up to Omaha. The weather's less than ideal. We've been given the assignment from the, the Staby Craft Boys to give the, uh, the new 1550 a run. So we're going to head out to the barrier, spend a couple days out there, hunt the shallows, try and target some, some trophy snapper. Uh, I've got Callum, who I work with, colleague, sales rep for Daiwa New Zealand. Right. We've got a couple of other boys on the trip as well. We've got Gary and we've got Josh both part of the, the Daiwa crew, so really looking forward to, to giving the 1550 a burn. We've got the, the 1850 as our support boat, which the boys are going to be riding on. Um, like I said before, the weather's going to be less than ideal, um, <laughs> but looking forward to a, a reasonably bumpy crossing to, to give the boat a bit of a test. We're going to get in for cargo spec soon. <laughs> We're going to have water from all angles. You know, from the 1850, they always go pretty good in a, in a following sea, so I'm pretty keen to see how, how this boat goes as well. So, and it's time to, to get wet, lads. Do you trust me? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Trust the boat at least. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely an adventure together, isn't it? Yeah. 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 We'll see how we get on. Yeah. We ride together, we die together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> arrived in Fonga Para Para safely which is good. It was certainly a bit of a bumpy crossing coming over. It felt like maybe 15 to 20 knots so we uh, certainly gave the boat a good test but I mean as to be anticipated much like the 1850 it tracks really well you don't get any surprises when you've got a bit of a following sea. Um, and we, we would have been doing over 15 knots most of the way. Um, you know a couple of times I saw we were doing 17, 18 knots yeah, I guess in that chop it handles really well. It's a big crossing across the barrier from the mainland, so now really happy with uh, how the boat performs. So do a little bit of unloading, get set up in our accommodation and go and uh, give the fish a hard time for the afternoon. So looking forward to it. Mum's bacon, it's the most important thing on a fishing trip. It's the best thing on the fishing trip. Cheers, Mum. That's good. What'd your mum bake? Just a son that can catch a shitload of fish. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have to pull through now, eh? Yeah. Now we're going to head up to like a little set of islands and try and get out of the wind. I think the, um, the plan for the afternoon is just get in nice and shallow and um, a soft bait and try and pull a, a good fish out of the rocks. It's the time of year that the big snapper is sort of hiding away, so we'll just plug along the coastline and Hopefully we come across one. Should do. So it should be good. Looking forward to it. Had a bit of a smash out here to get to some sheltered water. Certainly quite sloppy out in the open, but we made it up here and it's it's nice and sheltered and there's plenty of ground to fish, so we'll have a uh, have a hunt around and hopefully get stuck into a few. Bit of a warm up out in the middle of the channel here, and then we'll uh, we'll go tuck in a bit closer and see if we can get a big mooch dog out of the out of the shallow. So yeah, stuck into it. Hopefully first cast, first fish. It's good, there's heaps of space. Nice with the, uh, the grip on it. Feel pretty um, pretty secure up here. Good. It's always nice to get a bit of elevation and be able to, to see where you're casting, particularly for this type of fishing. We're looking for like these weedy patches, clear patches, you know, the fish will hunt along the edges, they'll be hiding in the weed. 
they're waiting for uh, any unsuspecting bait fish to come along so yeah being elevated and being able to look you know, gives you much better visibility and you, know, you can just really target the areas where you think a, a fish will be lurking. This is a Takasagi 7 inch jerk shad. Scott's having a bit of luck with uh, another orange bait so it will change colour. So we're just making our way down the, the coast, chucking a few soft baits in along the, the edges. Snapper love to hide in along here. Heaps of kelp, heaps of cover, heaps of food. So quite often you land your soft bait, they'll see it, they'll just come out and smash it. And you've got a um, good shot at catching a really big fish doing this. So little 1550 is perfect for it. Got the little electric motor, so we're, we're super quiet, making very little noise. And heaps of room to cast as well, which you want for, for your soft baiting. So I'm just going to make our way down the coast and hopefully come across a nice fish. Yeah, this is a good one. Pulling a bit of string. I did say we came to the honey hole. Definitely that next sort of class up, which we've been hunting for. It's quite a heavy set this as well, 20 pound soft bedding set, so. Nice to be connected to a good one. I don't think it's a huge fish, but a nice one. Great space up the front here to, to fight fish. Heaps of room. There we go, here's a bit of colour. Nothing wrong with that. Nice solid barrier snapper. Nice chunky little barrier snapper. It's off a pretty good account for himself. Always good fun on the, uh, the soft baiting gear. You know, we um, come to places like Barrier because we enjoy catching bigger fish. You know, you need to play your part in sustainability and, and let these bigger bigger fish go and let them do their thing, particularly if they're in good condition. So, say bye to that guy. And he's off. So, good to get a good one on the board.
Yeah, good. Callum just took the good one, so I'll just deal to this and um, we'll give you a shout back. Go, Callum. See you later. Whoa, like what we came for. I'm working hard for that one, but we finally got there. A nice chunky fish in the grey Nomad glow, so we're starting to lose a bit of light. So if you put on a bait with a bit of glow in it, enough can get the uh, get a bite, and in this case, it's good. And we're pretty successful fish. Okay.